Or this is something we've been wanting to do for years. Um, it just has never been the right time. But I'm graduating in two weeks, and I was like, this has to happen before I graduate. Like, I don't want to go three years and not do this. About a month ago, we officially started, like, really going ham and trying to make this happen. Uh, management meetings went into it of just, you know, coming up with bands that everyone would want to see. Uh, we came up with bands from like Seattle, Portland, Boise, uh, Pullman and Moscow, obviously. Um, but then there were so many in the mix that were from Pullman um, and just students. So we thought that would be a really cool aspect to bring. I think I'm most excited to just see, you know, like all the bands live and see how they interact with the crowd. Um, just because this isn't something KZU has really done before. So I have no idea like how many people were expecting um, besides, you know, the metrics on the Facebook event, but I think it'll be really cool to see how those bands interact with, you know, the crowd that we bring. I think it's really important to do these events and just even, if you, even people, even if people don't show up, they'll see the posters, they'll see our name, they'll be like, oh, that's a thing. <laughs> um, but even, even just like what we're doing today, um, we're having like local bands come and perform. I think it's a really cool opportunity to showcase the local talent in Pullman, Moscow. involved in KZU, uh, we had, if I remember right, 23 DJs and there wasn't a lot of community involvement. I think there were a couple parties that were thrown um, naturally, but besides that, I mean, there wasn't a lot of other community involvement. Um, they, we had a separate RSO called Friends of KZU that would put on house shows, but it was completely separate from the radio station um, and not a lot of people went. 